Hello, fellow well, Thamesman. Thamesman, how are you doing? I'm good. It's nice to see you again after your Greek uh, sojourn. Are you like like a Aesop's fable or whatever you know? Like who's the, who's the guy who set off across the oceans? The Jason the Argonaut, Alexander the Great, or someone like that. Are you, is Homer you, the lot. You know what I mean. Yeah, Hobbit, but, and and, and, so, and uh, what hat are we wearing today? Ah, well, this is our World Championship Dodgers hat, mate, which uh, which I think, can the Giants, your San Francisco Giants, say anything like World Championship? No. I'm sorry. The um, When we say World Championship... We mean the centre of the world. Being right, which is America, not as in any you know, other country. You know, that's going to really upset a lot of you people. Know, it's like, oh, let's be World Champions of America! I know, I know. It's all, but, but you know, you know, I love baseball. baseball yeah, I do. Awesome. And congratulations and getting the hat. Exactly. It took it only took them forty years or thirty years or some of that. So yeah. Did you get a hat that fits this time? <laughs> <laughs> it's like on its maximum stretch over the back. <laughs> so you're gonna have to chop your barnet. Right? Are you ready for this one? Right? You won't well, have doing, You haven't even told me what we're doing right now. So what right? Have, have you ever heard of Sleaford Mods? I haven't heard of Sleep and Mods. So no one is going to be watching this, right? Except for Chris. <laughs> Hang in there, Chris. You know. All right. So Sleaford Mods, I saw this was my introduction to Sleaford Mods. And I and uh, I read about them. Um they're kind of really underground working class um uh, post industrial depression music. You're really selling this as something to carry on watching. It's like our subscriber numbers have just gone poof. They're like, oh. I'm and out of I heard about them because they're cutting edge. Cutting and edge. cutting edge. And uh, the guy's got a Twitch. And he has to keep, you know, doing this. And um, anyway, they came on to Jules Holland. Anyone who doesn't know, Jules Holland is basically, what is he? He's like the wizard of all our music in England. He took over John Peel. Who, who you also might not know, John Peel was the person who fought for all the underdog bands, and he broke Led Zeppelin, he broke Roxy Music, he broke, uh, he broke basically them all, all the big bands, and now Jules Holland does that, right? Yeah, but Jules Holland, prior to this, was was the keyboard player of Squeeze, wasn't he? Yes. So, yeah. yes. So he has he has amazing musical chops. He's a great keyboard player himself. You know, he's. So he's, what he does yeah. is he he brings a he has a TV program and it's in a circle. So all the bands are facing each other, and each band will then play one track. So it really is you got to you're you're in an exclusive audience, and you got to do well. Sleaford Mods were invited, because and they came on, and I honestly uh, had not seen anything as good as this for years. Um, and it's just really, really raw. If you're offended by swearing, probably not the uh, track to watch. <laughs> great okay all right and it's about job seeker it's about for those who don't know you uh americans it's about um it's about being unemployed which obviously then has a dichotomy for them because like when do you sell out and become make money out of being unemployed mm. all right let's do it all right let's do this i look i can't wait this is fascinating i have no idea what this is all right you ready? Uh, I am ready. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one, boom. Now we change the vibrations again, and I'm delighted to get into this room from Nottingham, Sleaford Mods. <laughs>
Commission supplied to me by the NHS. It's anyone's guess how I got here. Anyone's guess how I'll go. I suck on a roll up. Pull your jeans off. Fuck off. I'm going home. Job seeker. Job seeker, bro. Say, Mr. Williamson, what have you done in order to find gainful employment since your last signing on day? Fuck all, I sat around the ass wanking, and I want to know why you don't serve coffee here. My signing on time's supposed to be ten past eleven. It's now twelve o'clock, and some of these smelly bastards need exterminating. Mr. Williamson, your employment history looks quite impressive. I'm looking at three managerial positions you previously held with quite reputable companies. Isn't this something you'd like to go back to? No, I just end up fucking robbing the place. You got a till full of 20s looking at you all day. Well, I'm hardly gonna fucking bank it. I got drugs to take and a mind to break. And a mind to break. blew my mind when I feel that. There's so much to talk about. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm honestly in a little bit of shock. Um, <laughs> well, uh, that, uh, that's England's new entry for the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> we, might, we might win if we did that, for God's sake. You know? <laughs> Can you imagine if we put them forward as our Eurovision, and from England, Job Seeker, <laughs> you know? Well, I, I, there's so much to talk about, you know? I I I I really like it first up because yeah. it's so English, so English. So it's like the you know remember the, the days of being on the dole, UB forty, yeah. going down yeah. the job centre, get your unemployment, welfare state, all that sort of stuff. Added on that lad, you know, sound that that yeah. attitude. The guy just standing there with his beer. Well, you know? the guy who stands there, right? Uh, it's that's the DJ. It yeah, shows you DJs do fuck all. <laughs> yeah, right. right? Like, so, yeah, yeah. so, no, that is the honest DJ, right? Well, he, must, so, yeah, but somebody, he maybe he wrote all the beats. He, he does. Know. He does. He does. He wrote all the beats. So, um, but it, what, what, what they well, they are so brutally honest. They're saying all these fucking ponces that stand up there and try to they don't do fuck all. It's all <laughs> on the USB stick. So he goes up and has a pint. Well, why not? You know, and, exactly. Uh, Keep his mate company. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, why not go on national TV, drink a pint, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I, I honestly, though, the it totally, I, I, for those who don't know, in England, we have the welfare state, who, like where where you, if you're unemployed, you have to go to the, the job centre, go down the dole, 
and you have to you have to go for an interview and you have to, you have to show that you're looking for work uh and and if you don't get anything they'll give you money um now i i did it i had a period of briefly doing it and it was pretty miserable and i so so anyone who's done it would totally get where that song yeah comes i've from. done it i've done it as well and it's like you have to go in and they kind of offering you shit jobs and whatever it's just like but oh, it, the, the, I mean, it is final it, chairs and it's awful uh, and it's yeah I mean, but it's 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 true poetry punk yeah. uh, post industrial yeah. kind of uh, working class you know attitude. It's it's the DJ is absolutely brutally honest. The yeah. guy's got obviously he's got his he's got his twitch and he has to pull the words out of him as well. Yeah. It's the it's really well written. It's really brutal. You know, it's, um, it's, a bit like, it's like an English rap in some ways, isn't it? It's like, you, you know, it's, it's, it's a stream of consciousness. Well, there's a the song that really turned me on to him, a TCR, Total Control Racing. And basically they're, that's all they're singing. And the cars are going round. Total right. Control Racing. And you can see they were stoned out their gourd when they made it up. They've done really well, right? They're, they, they're do, this band are, are doing really well. They're obviously... they're what they're, year that was? Yeah. No, I do apologise, but they've been. I mean, I know that he did work. Uh, he's uh, he, he worked with Spiritualized before that singer. Oh, really? And um, and then so I think they did quite a few albums, and but recently now they've kind of they've uh, they've done like five albums. Recently now they've suddenly they've gone up, and they're they're very trendy now to have. And it's it, it's kind of it's I, I feel. I feel that they're at the point where, you know, everyone who starts to like them drives a Range Rover and goes to nice music festivals and reads The Guardian and has got a middle management job and they're getting in touch with their working class roots. And where do they leave their working class roots and sell out? Because how can they be doing, you know, large uh, large venues when they're still singing about unemployment? So they're, they've got, they've kind of, they've got this dichotomy of the audience versus, you know, I'm a bit cutting edge, but really I'm 50, you know, and really they're making a bit of money now, but, you know, they're still singing about... I, mean, I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with being rewarded for talent, you know? No, 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 no do I. It's just, it's just, you know, I think that they, 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 they're they starting to break it now and it's like, the thing about them is their authenticity. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, I, I, I often people, I don't know if people ask you this, um, in America people will come up and say, you know, probably because of British invasion and stuff, they'll go, you know, why are there so many good bands come out of England? And I'm not saying England has exclusively good bands, but we've had some pretty decent stuff from time to time. We have these waves of music. And, and I, I, I've always put it down to um, the welfare state. And, and you know, you, you, I remember when we had a little band and you were running around playing gigs and stuff, it was the welfare state the subsidised musicians yeah. You know, that it was what allowed them to sit in their yeah. sitting room bedrooms and practice day after day after day and write songs and, uh, and, and, and create music and maybe make a bit of money on the side down the pub, you yeah. know, and, and, you know, and a few cash gigs and stuff like that. And I always thought Welfare State was kind of like the art subsidy that, that, that allowed bands to form themselves without having to go out and sell themselves to go and do like weddings and things just to, and play. I, 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 I agree with you. Very well put. I'll also put in there the weather, because <laughs> yeah, honestly, the I learned the piano one one winter. It was so goddamn miserable. And you know, being in California, looking back, do you remember we used to have to say, "Why? When shall we have a barbecue?" And we would look up and we'd say, "Well, next Thursday looks all right." You know, because and and that's where we would have a barbecue. Thursday afternoon could be okay. It rained so much in England. You know, so if you. If you get paid a bit of money and you can stay inside, you might as well do total control racing and give it a go, you know? Did you go to that barbecue we had at Elvingdon where, where, when I used to live in Elvingdon yeah. in, in the cottage? And yeah. it was in the garden and uh, Alaric was living there and, and you know, we, was, you know, group was, we had this barbecue and come hell or high water, we're going to have this barbecue. And, and it just dogged down with rain so we found every bit of building material we could like pallets and blue tarps we built this makeshift shelter in the gun so we could have our barbecue it was pathetic absolutely pathetic <laughs> i know i know i know i kind of miss it i miss weather but at the same point i don't have to pick what day to have a barbecue 
No, no. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> well, look, I know no one will be watching this. It's a really unique and track, and it's very British. And if there are any Americans watching, you just, you know, hopefully, hopefully, got something out of them. And go and check, go and check out TCR Racing, Total Control Racing, the next track. It's a good track. And uh, every time I put it on in the car, is always perk up on that. You know, people who are in the car, it's a, they're great. They, you know, nice to listen to something different. Yeah, no, exactly, and, and uh, it, it's it's um, you know, I hope I hope people trust us and come along for the journey and come and see these things. And you know, if you don't like it, no matter, we'll do another one tomorrow. So, oh, thanks, Chris, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Melissa, and uh, you know, all so yeah. So, hey, right. so oh, I'm fading out again. I'm fading out, fading out, mate. There you go. Wear that shirt. No, you? I know. I'm gonna wear a bright green one next time. I tell you, we should one day we should do a show with just wearing bright green shirts and just be disembodied heads. <laughs> <laughs> and you with your little hats on top. I'll get a gr- I'll get a green hat as well and just be like <laughs> I'm gonna get you one of those with the um propeller. <laughs> hats with propellers. Why was that? What was that? That was, that was a very w- American thing, wasn't it? That was that guy we Pee Wee Herman. Did he have it? Was he? Did he start it? Did the banana? I, was like, I look like Pee Wee Herman a little bit. You do actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman stroke Hitler. Have you seen my Hitler look? It's. <laughs> All right, and on that note. It's, like, it's a good job you did that on a track that no one's going to watch. I know. I thought I wouldn't have done it. <sighs> All right. I'm going to edit Excellent. that. Well, that. thank you for introducing that because I, I honestly never, ever heard that. And so that was... Awesome. Never hear it again either. I think I will. You know, it was, it was really interesting. It's, it's, I think it's kind of one that I might, like, if I'm at a party and I want to pretend I'm cool and know stuff, I'll pull it out and go, hey, has anyone heard this track from the Sleaford Mods? And, and then everyone who's middle class were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, 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 yeah. my Range Rover all day. Exactly. <laughs> all right. I like to listen to it with Annabelle when we're doing a little bit of ponies, you know. <laughs> I'm unemployed, yeah, you know. I, rem- I remember when I was at uni, I went and signed up at the doll, man. Yeah, yeah, it was so cool. Just like, you know, trust a fairy. <laughs> Helped pay for my polo pony. Oh, we, uh, they, they, for, God, we are wibbling, but for you Americans, you don't know, we have a class of people that were called Trustafarians, and they're <laughs> the people who they're the people who get their daddy's trust and smoke it away, like, yeah, yeah, a real authentic. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Trustafarian. But, but, but when you had no money, they were good to know. But Yeah, yeah anyway. they were good to know. <laughs> All right. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>